guys, what's going on? It's me, Destiny here. So I wanted to bring you a quick review on my blush palette. I use this a lot, but I've never really sat down and had a moment to speak to you about it. Honestly, this is an amazing palette, quickly because each and every one of these colors looks great on dark skin. There are so many dupes in this palette from Exhibit A to, I forget the name of the MAC blush that was like this. I'm gonna have all the dupes and stuff on the screen, but it's not even so much about that. What I like about this is you get four full proof colors. They're matte. They look good with so many different looks. This one, not even this one. I will say this is a great everyday blush, but I will say that this one is the ultimate every color, every look, every mood, every vibe. This is the neutral blush. I'm absolutely positively in love with it, okay? Love it, love it, love it. This one right here I love because it's kind of safe. I feel like a lot of black, especially darker complected women are comfortable with this color. It looks great with brown lipstick. It looks great with purple lipstick, especially plums, raisin tones, which are all colors that we've become accustomed to seeing on darker skin and very comfortable with. And then this one right here, I just love because it really just makes the face pop. I like my blush barely there, okay? I like my blush to look barely there and so natural to the point where you'll think, okay, is she really blushing? My lights are bright, so the blush may not be showing up as much as it would in life, but I absolutely love these two colors. They just look so vibrant. They just look so vibrant. They just pick up so, so beautifully. And um, actually this blush is on thegodlyglow.com. I have this blush and bronzer or contour palette on special together. I just did a video featuring this bronzer palette showing you guys how I use it for bronzer versus contour. I'll either have a clip of that up or a card so you can check it out or a link in the bottom bar or something like that. But I love this palette, number one. It is just very, very, very pigmented. Okay, you have colors that you can use under your eye. You have colors that you can set with. You have colors that you can contour or bronze with and just really, really bring that shape back to your face. I always talk about this when doing my foundation. You go in, you clean, you color correct, and then you bring the format back. You bring the blueprint back, okay? My face naturally, when I don't have any makeup on, I'm darkest around the edges, and then in the center I'm the lightest, like most people's skin. So I do really enjoy being able, once my whole face is beat, to go in and just hit that bronzer, honey. Bring that chocolate back, honey. Ah! Like, I love it, it's so pretty. Like this whole, this whole frame right here, I love and even bringing my hand into it because the colors just cascade and they match so naturally. I have a little bit of the brighter in the center. You see my face brighter in the center. You see the darkness that comes down to my neck. My neck and my face and my chest and my hand are all one uniform color. I absolutely love a face like this. Like if you ever see me out, and I have on makeup, this is generally what you're gonna get. You're gonna get a clean face, you're gonna get a cat lash, which I actually also have on the Godly Glow. I should talk about those because I'm very particular with the style of eyelashes I wear nowadays. When you really get into yourself, when you get into your look, when you get into your signature face, you understand what works and you understand why. And a lot of times you won't deviate from it. I like to add little touches here and there, like these lips, I mixed a red and orange together and I will have more information about the bar and I might actually have a little clip from that. But once you really know what looks good on you, it, it's like really hard to make yourself look bad. I know doll lashes don't look good on me. I know, you know what I mean, pale pink blush doesn't look good on me. I know things that are like blue tone don't look good on my cheek area, like in the center of my face is warm. So I really need to bring the warmth, the warm orange, the warm tawny color, that warm purple. I know what bronzers and contours look good around my face. I know how I like my, my, my eyebrows done the best, you know? Um, I know my center color and my concealers, and I'm actually gonna have a whole video discussing my center colors, my concealers that I love, um, the powders that I love to go in the center of my face because it's very important, you know? 
And speaking of signature face, I do have one-on-ones now. So if you would like to book with me one-on-one, -on -one, I can help you create your signature face from the ground up. I can help you, you know, pick out exactly what it is that you need to do to really, you know, kind of amplify your beauty, put your beauty on a pedestal and give you a shopping list and kind of just help you work through the rigors of everything that's available. All the information is available and it can be, it can be really confusing. Okay, so I'll have that link in the bottom bar, but I just want to come and talk to you quickly about those two palettes. I'll also have those links in the bottom bar, anything on my face will be in the bottom bar or possibly on the screen, but I'm loving this frame so much. I don't know if I'm gonna put anything on the screen, honey, because I love it. I love it so much. All right, you guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video and definitely go ahead and check out that blush palette. It is foolproof, okay? It's gonna look amazing on all darker, warmer complexions and even lighter ones as well. Like seriously, honestly, my niche is darker complected women, but I feel like I give tips and tricks for everybody Okay, honey, black makeup is for everybody. Black makeup brands are for everybody. All right, you guys, so I'm going to get out of here. As always, I want to thank you so much for commenting, rating, and subscribing. I'll be in touch, and hopefully you'll do the same. Bye, guys.